LeBron scored 56 points against the Warriors. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that that's impressive. Especially for a guy that's 37 years old in his 19th season. And LeBron will most likely need to play like this the rest of the season for the Lakers to be able to get in the playoffs. But LeBron going all out or going God mode is not a good idea for him or the Lakers. This season has been full of disappointments and the Lakers aren't anywhere near what we expected. The only bright spot of this season has been LeBron. He's playing great, setting milestones, and really keeping the Lakers somewhat afloat. Who knows where they would be without him this season. But the Lakers are way too reliant on a 37-year-old LeBron. And this may have dire consequences. This season has gone eerily similar to the 2012-2013 season. Let's recap that season. The Lakers had Steve Nash, Kobe, Metta World Peace, Pau Gasol, and Dwight Howard. It was supposed to be a super team that on paper was the favorite to win the championship. But the team had key injuries that derailed the season. The struggles that come with old age were too much for this veteran heavy team to overcome. Sound familiar? The Lakers were a struggling below 500 team. Mike Brown was the head coach to start the season. He was then fired and Mike D'Antoni came aboard. He foolishly tried to implement his fast paced small ball system on a team with two seven footers and a bunch of old guys. That clearly didn't work and the Lakers found themselves with a record of 17 and 25. Kobe then met with D'Antoni and they decided to change their style of play to a slower pace. The Lakers finished the season going 28 and 12 and ended up with a record of 45 and 37. Good enough for the seventh seed in the playoffs. But what did it cost to get there? During that run, Kobe exhausted himself, averaging 38 minutes a game, logging in over 40 minutes a game 30 times that season. His last seven games of the season, he played over 40 minutes. And then this happened. Kobe tore his Achilles ending his season and changing the course of Lakers history. He was eventually able to return, but he was never the same. He got his team to the playoffs, and in it, they got swept by the Spurs after suffering even more injuries to key players. They had to start guys like Andrew Goudlock and Darius Morris. Exactly, you probably don't even know who those guys are. But that's what happens when you have a roster full of old guys. The likelihood of injury is much higher. But just getting to the playoffs that season cost the Lakers their superstar and launched the franchise into years of rebuilding. And all they had to show for it was a first round exit and getting swept in the process. So now this season, the Lakers have a chance to make the playoffs. But Anthony Davis is injured, and Russell Westbrook is playing like shit. And the rest of the team is just sad. So if the Lakers are gonna do anything, LeBron has to carry the team. And we all know he's capable of it. But at 37 years old and in his 19th season, to what extent can he carry this team? And how could doing so potentially have negative consequences on the rest of his career. I mean, we just witnessed him score a season high 56 points, and then he had to miss the next game due to knee issues. I don't think it's wise to allow LeBron to go backpack mode this season, especially when the best outcome 
is more than likely a first round exit. If the Lakers had a real shot at the title, it would be a different story. But I don't think you risk LeBron's health and the future of the franchise on this lost season. Now, of course, if it's up to LeBron, he's gonna play. And he's gonna play as many minutes as he's allowed. I truly believe he thinks he can carry this team to a title. And let's be honest, he's chasing Kareem. He's chasing all these accolades and milestones. He wants to set more records. So all these games count, but it's the job of the coach to protect the player from himself. And it's the job of the front office to protect their assets and do what's best for the franchise. They didn't do that with Kobe. Kobe wanted to play and they let him play as much as he wanted. And that ultimately ended Kobe's career early and set the franchise back a few years. So I'm not saying we should shut LeBron down for the season. I doubt that's going to happen. But the Lakers shouldn't be putting him in situations that could negatively impact the rest of his career. Especially for a season where your chances of winning are extremely low. The Lakers need to learn from their past mistakes and protect their superstar. What's important is having LeBron healthy when you actually have a shot at the title.